to maze. So this yeah. So thank you for the time. Okay, you can from such a really good. So today uh, I'd like to talk about this network. So here is my outline. Uh, my presentation consists of seven parts. Uh, and let me begin by talking about background. So I'd like to show you some figures about the Japanese pipe condition and conventional EK survey method. In Japan, uh, the ratio of the over 40 years old pipe length to the uh, total pipe length was 13.6% in 2015 and will increase to 59% in 2045. So water leakage accident due to earthquakes are increasing concern. The conventional leakage survey method is to inspect by year which can be different for immediate vegetation of our wide area. So uh, I uh, uh, introduce a uh, promising system to improve efficiency of water leakage detection system using vibration sensors. So generally, the water leakage generates unique almost waves uh, and it is propagated along distance along the pipe. So, uh, if vibration sensors are installed on control valves, uh, they can detect water leakage. So by uh, achieving real-time remote monitoring of these vibration sensors, uh, inspection effort can be reduced and uh, detection accuracy can be improved. So you can see uh, the information about our developed sensors and its specifications. Specifications. Um, previously, developed low noise names altimeter are used, and it provides a water leakage detection range up to 300 meter. Now, uh, I'd like to show you the problem of our proposed water leakage detection system. Uh, if solid water pipes are uh, longer than 300 meter, uh, which is a detection range, uh, multiple sensors are required to uh, cover. Uh, all water pipes uh, and uh, expansion of sensor installation areas we can optimize sensor placement to satisfy coverage and uh, minimize the required number of sensors. Moreover, uh, actual sensor uh, pixel range is not this shape. Uh, wide variety of detection energy at the each installation position is difficult uh, to explore optimal sensor placement. Uh, in the future, uh, if 1,000 or more sensor installation in the city scale network, uh, it will take a very long time to uh, plan uh, placement. So now uh, I explain why uh, do the uh, challenges differ from place to place. Uh, generally, the intensity of leakage induced aquatic waves is again needed for high exposures such as large diameter pipes or branches. So, detection range becomes short if large diameter pipes or branches are contained around center. So, that is why sensor detection range by according to sensor installation questions. Uh, therefore, uh, my research purpose is to develop a sensor placement optimization method. Uh, that functions uh, the acoustic attenuation features of piping, water piping structures. And the research approaches is here. Uh, firstly, pipe and valve structures are extracted from pipe network data. And the next sensor detection range is on each valve are calculated. And finally, we exit sensor placement calculation using combinatorial optimization. So this slide shows uh, how to define acoustic attention feature in water mains. Defined model is here. Uh, estimate vibration intensity and on sensor is expressed by much blank leakage uh, vibration intensity and attenuation coefficients are by length and transmission coefficients are range. Uh, and their parameters were designed by uh, adjusting literature bias and measurement bias in past measurement results. 
And, uh, and this shows the distribution of defined acoustic ablation model uh, for the 150 millimeter diameter pipe, and 300 meter, millimeter diameter pipe, and 150 millimeter diameter pipe with one branch, uh, respectively. And uh, uh, acoustic well intensity at starting point is configured by a constant mass measurement results. And uh, we can see the ablation. Uh, on the high frequency side increases with the pipe length. And uh, we can see intensity remains in 200 millimeter pipe, in 500 millimeter pipe, while bombs are attenuated at about 100 millimeter pipe or long branch inflated pipe. Then uh, we determine sensor detection ranges by uh, calculating signal to noise ratio. Uh, SNR, SNR is uh, expressed as a ratio of estimated vibration intensity and uh, sensor noise level in a whole range of frequency. And this shows a simple packing diagram of explanation. Uh, variable B expresses a uh, value uh, function, uh, variable K represents uh, pipes. So uh, the detectability uh, between piping elements and um, control power B uh, determined based on the SNR uh, assumed from the distance generation path for the piping elements to the power. Then uh, we formulated the sensor placement optimization method uh, using linear programming program as uh, for uh, final optimized combination of sensor integration parts uh, calculated using objective function to minimize the number of sensors and uh, the con uh, coverage of the list classification. So, and this shows the uh, results of the dictionary range calculation. Uh, two different piping diagrams, area A and area B, were prepared for evaluation. And, uh, in these figures, blue dot uh, represents control part position, and the red circle represents a set situation bar position. And the red line yeah, represents a pipe within the range. range. Uh, uh, and this table summarizes uh, uh, total pipe lengths at each pipe diameter pipe. Um, we can see uh, the total pipe lengths of area B was 3.9 times longer than area A diagram. And in area B, uh, larger diameter pipe and branches around the sensor resulted in narrower coverage than area A. <coughs> and this shows the results of sensor placement optimization. Uh, we can see the coverage was a 99% uh, in both areas. Uh, the number of required sensors in area B uh, was 3.6 times uh, larger than area A, while uh, covered by length was 3.9 times longer than area A. Uh, this results indicated that uh, proposed method uh, provides smaller number of sensors than estimated by pipe uh, length increment. And this shows the uh, results of variation using C scale data set. Uh, the variability to uh, various piping structures was uh, evaluated. <coughs> this scale pipeline data, including uh, 232 piping diagrams, was used, and each piping diagram uh, 500 meter pipe. Uh, the proposed method achieved over 95% coverage regardless of piping conditions or SNR conditions. So um, uh, I think this is function of coverage. Uh, like this figure, uh, some piping elements in the edge of map are too far from uh, nearby sensor installation bars. So this, uh, this point uh, is related in the coverage situation. But by enlarging analysis area, this coverage can be improved. So, uh, my conclusion is uh, to avoid uh, spending big six in the institutional positions 
uh, we propose the novel sensor placement optimization method uh, that uh, considers the acoustic radiation features for water piping structure. Uh, experimental results indicated that we successfully utilized our method in speed scale pipe network and we optimized placement of uh, the standard sensors in market. And we achieved over 95% coverage and as a sufficient practical level here are the rest of the IP conditions. So we hope that our method will become the standard scheme for our uh, sensor placement optimization and we will be extended to other sensor networks uh, in one day. So thank you for your attention.